Hello friends, we are facing the fog, fog on the road, it has become a daily scenario. When there is a fog on the road, it becomes difficult to see clear on the road and it becomes difficult for driver to move the vehicle with speed on the road. It's kind of obstacles and it may lead to accident also that can you see in this picture. In the similar fashion, if you talk about electrical system, if you are not providing a proper dedicated path as shown in the TT systems on the left hand side in this picture and you allow that short circuit current to flow through soil. The soil has resistivity, 10 ohm, 2000 ohm, depends on the characteristics, area, location. It don't allow that fault current to go back to the source in a speedy manner. It creates obstacles like fog. When fog is there, the electrical system, the OCPD provided, won't operate and the purpose, very purpose of OCPD in the circuit will be defeated. You have to choose MCB rating, that's why carefully depends on the type of earthing configuration. On the right hand side you can say this TNS system where dedicated P conductor is there, protective earth is there. The moment there is a fault, earth fault, it goes immediately back to the source through P conductor and the fault loop impedance in that case is quite low. And OCPD provided in that circuit will definitely work, but you have to choose your OCPD very carefully, depends on the fault loop impedance. The fall loop impedance plays a very important role that is like a fog on the road that leads to accidents. Think about it and educate people about importance of return path for the fault current to back to the source and the importance of the fall loop impedance that I tried to explain through fog on the roads. Just avoid this accident on the road and avoid this accident in the electrical systems by proper selection of OCPD, proper measurement of your fault loop impedance in the circuits. Thank you, thank you everyone.